<clears throat> all right as you can see I've already done three colors in here felt like this was a little bit of an empty spot so I'm just going to show you how I do this with the magnetic strip on this um, what's kind of nice about doing digital is if you do screw up someplace you can always just cover it with another color or just hit it again with the paint so uh, this looks like it's kind of maybe a barren area right here so we'll just put a little detail in there What's nice about using these magnetic things is, uh, like I said, they kind of conform around corners real nice. Um, but the downside is they do rip. So that's why I said suggest maybe using the thicker stuff. Um, what I'll do now is I'll mask around over here real quick using the other stuff that, oh, we'll just, I just want to use this one right here so we'll mask the rest of it out. All right, I've gone ahead and masked off the area I wanted to mask off. Um, What I'm going to do is probably just use a, uh, piece of paper for this here, just a piece of cardboard and, you know, just to block that off. This ain't going to be a real big shot, so this should work just fine. Just keeping the overspray down a minute. Once again, I'm just going to, since this one's smaller, just hit it until you can see the coverage. Because it's too heavy and it will be shiny, so you just want to avoid that minimal, and that's it. Just always minimal with this stuff. Um, once you're going on to the second, the third colors, just try to stay minimal and uh, give it a second to dry. Pull it off. All right, I've given it some time to dry, <laughs> not a whole lot. Um, I'll go ahead and just peel it back, and there you go. Like I said, you know, uh, it, it tr just try to be random with it. Just try to have as many patterns as you can. Um, that way you can continually reuse them in different ways. Um, just to give you an example of what my uh, patterns look like. This is, uh, like I said, I keep them just on a flat piece of steel. That way they can just dry um, between uses, you know, let them dry out a little bit. If you get a thicker ones, you know, you could possibly wipe them down with a little bit of acetone or whatever chemical, like maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, alcohol. <laughs> so that's up to you guys to figure out what works for you. And uh, that's it. Just to give you a quick idea of what it looks like, what I'm working on here, this is... Uh, old CJ5 um, that I kind of rebuilt from the ground up and uh, right now doing the digital paint on it and uh, we'll see how it comes out uh, just to give you the idea of what the finished product well at least my finished product looks like this is uh, the dashboard and uh, I, don't know, I guess you want to call it my maybe my second attempt at, at doing the digital so, like I said, you know, it's just all about being random, all about that second color coverage, and, uh, you know, just don't think too hard about it, otherwise you'll, you'll go nuts. <laughs> Especially on the larger sections, because um, they can really be a nightmare. And uh, that's about it.